Hey guys, Epicus Gamer here, and today I have a video on TU14, but first I'd like to say sorry for not having any videos out, and I'm sorry also if the uh, video, well the sound quality is horrible, because all my mics are broken, so I'm using the built-in one, so let's hope for the best. And now I'm basically just going to go through the screenshots for TU14, which will be coming to the PS3, Xbox 360, and I think... This is basically what they're saying, that they're going to be releasing the Xbox One and the PS4 on this same update. So, on the first image on the top, where we have the Mushroom plushies, we have Carrot on Stick. You can see it there, that's used to control pigs. We have Quartz, which are found in the Nether, if you did not know. This has been on the computer for quite a while now. And there is Emeralds, so this is signalling to trading with villagers, which is almost certain now. And there is also Potatoes. Which is basically like wheat, you plant it and you can cook it. Wheat, you can't cook it obviously, but... There's a jungle temple, which is found in jungles obviously, and there's chests in there if you did not know. You can complete a puzzle with levers or you can just break through the wall. Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> and... There isn't really anything that good in there. You'd find string and bone, sometimes gold and iron, but nothing over the top. And if you see on the tree to the left there, there's some side weed sideways good english sideways logs which is also new and if you look someone pointed this out on twitter if you look at the x and y on the bottom left of the top screen there's kind of a black outline to the x and y which is on the new xbox one so this is the xbox one the one on top the one on bottom doesn't have it it's just completely blue for the x now on the bottom screen we have anvils which is, I'll explain that in a second, cobstone walls, sand temples, and to the right there's a sand village, also trading with villagers, again, just signalling it. Well, not really, but you'd be able to trade with villagers there, I suppose. And the anvils, you can repair your stuff here, and if they add in enchanted books, you can put them on to, like, pickaxes or whatever. Let's say you got fortune tree, you put onto a pickaxe for some of your experience. But some things are too expensive, so that's that really. And then on the second image, where I have to change on my computer to see it, the, um, there is carpet, which you can see behind the flower pots, and on the on the lower image, you can see it clearly behind them, the orange wool. There is carrots, potatoes, and pumpkin pie in his inventory. There's tripwire, as you can see in the lower image. There is flower pots, very simple, three pieces of bricks. Like just the bricks, not the blocks. And you can put flowers in there. And there's ender chests, as you can see in the top image, in the middle there. And on the bottom image. If you don't know how ender chest works, you can make lots of ender chests and you can put them around the place. And whatever you put in the ender chest will be will be in every ender chest so let's say you wanted to put your diamonds in there so if you had two houses you go to your other house and there'd be diamonds there as well so that's actually a very um, convenient feature and if you see on the painting above the ender chest there's the wither i'm not sure if they're i'm almost certain that they're going to put in the wither this one because it'll be like a nice surprise because i haven't hinted at it yet but that's the first hint we've gotten about it and there's also some quartz stairs which is quartz four pieces of quartz to make the block so pretty expensive but you get loads of xp from quartz on the computer and i'm certain of that so basically in this new update we're going to be able to trade with villagers and there'll be ender chests maybe the wither new food emeralds and anvils anvils are a big bit and cobstone walls six pieces of cobstone so that's handy because it's cheaper than fences. I believe this is going to be released in one or two weeks. Because normally when they say it's in third testing, they haven't said that yet. It takes about a week, five business days. So that will probably take that long. If you're still confused, in my opinion, this is how they're going to release it. Everything you see here will be... They'll update the Xbox 360 and the PS3 to this. That was obvious. But then they're going to release Minecraft on the PS4 and the Xbox One 
on this update. So when you download Minecraft for the Xbox One on Minecraft for the Xbox One, it will have this update and you'll be there. If there, it'll be kind of a downer if there isn't anything new on the Xbox One, like bigger worlds or hardcore mode, stuff like that. If there isn't, it'll be a downer, but still, you'll have Minecraft, which I've been waiting for for ages. Sorry again for not having any uploads on this channel. I'm having problems with my microphones and stuff. My internet isn't that good, so hope you did enjoy. Please do subscribe if you did like. I'll have a Let's Play on this on the Xbox One, because I do own one, and be looking forward to that. And I'll have an overview of all the features that is out when it is released. So, hope you did enjoy. Please do leave a like if you did. And please do subscribe for more information. Bye.